So I uh, had an opportunity to go up to Denver, up to the brew hut, and uh, Jesse and our wives were kind enough to come along, so we hit a bunch of breweries on the way back. Yep. Yeah, yeah. that was great. Well, I mean, the first obvious choice is dry dock. Of course. I mean, it's literally you go through a door and you're you're in dry dock. You don't have the trouble to open the door. It's like an archway. Yeah. So you're right there. So, and uh, way back when, you may remember, we did an episode about a GABF. Uh, some beers that we got from Downhill Brewing and uh, we we're so impressed with them that we said hey Let's swing in and see what the other beers are like yeah. if yeah. we can remember we can put a link to it Yeah, link well down there though. The, no, no, you can like up here with the in the video. I don't think we can oh. I think you need so many subscribers or something. We got plenty. We got, yeah, we got yeah. we got tens of so subscribers get us links now no. Yes, anyway, so yeah, so we'll throw a link down to that video in the show notes, yeah. but yeah um, Downhill Brewing they used to be Elk Mountain and uh, evidently yeah. a couple guys ran into each other skiing, started threatening fisticuffs, and then later on met in the lodge, said, ah, oh, you know what, I'm sorry, and they got along, they both liked beer, and they picked up the brewery. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a cool story. So what do we got here? So Saturday S Nut Fever. Saturday right? Nut Fever, yeah. yeah. So this is their brown beer with peanuts, and it's quite full. Yeah, that's awesome. Whoa! Whoa! No! I can't even get it. That's fantastic. No, I like I like full crawlers. I'm not going to complain. I do too. Well, luckily it's not on like your grandma's tablecloth or nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> this bar's been in my family for years. So four. Uh, if if I didn't know it had peanut butter in it, I knew it as soon as I poured it. Yeah. As soon as I poured no it. No kidding. Uh, Ghost Town Brown, I, I believe, is the base beer. Um, I, I got to sample that while I was up there and loved it. Yeah. Loved it. Perfect brown. So, and yeah. No, I was just going to say that I think we got I had a Saison as well, which was, or no, like, I think the wives had Saison. Yeah. Which was good. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking about it and I can't remember what I had there, but basically the, where I was going with this is that we had those, those samples that they had for the GABF and we loved them. And, uh, we had the beers up there and we're like obviously these guys know what they're doing because yeah. those weren't flukes they, yeah that cemented the, it for sure all the beers yeah. we had were just you don't great. recall what you had i don't i'd have to look and untapped i think i'll I, think about it i think i had a couple beers up there though didn't I? Yeah. Either, either way all the beers were just rock solid and great place and we had a pizza too and that was very good it was as well. very good yeah yeah so it's just so clean i mean the, it's so balanced. It leaves you just with a hint of bitterness, the yep. very finish, but it's smooth and rounded. And uh, I, I almost get hazelnut from it as well as peanuts. But um, yeah, just yeah. it's there in the flavor. You know what? You know it's there, but it's not killing you. Yeah. If they did, they actually advertise this as a peanut beer, or is it just nut? I thought it was a peanut beer. Yeah. So because if it's because you're thinking hazelnut, right? I'm, I'm since you said it, yeah. Which I think hazelnut in combination with peanuts. So I'm thinking it's just generic nut. So let's see. It's a brown ale other. <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll tell you right here. Yeah. yeah. So, but either way, it's it is really. A, I'm not a big nut beer fan. You know, like I don't know. They have to like be this just nut. right. Yeah, they have to be balanced well and and not be have that artificial flavor. I was gonna say that's probably the only problem I have with any nut beers <coughs> is that artificial flavor. And too. they do it happens a lot where you get these artificially you know nut flavors, and I'm just like, oh, it just really turns me yeah. off. But this one does not have that. Yeah, this is really good and clean is a good descriptor for it. Yeah, I mean it just really is, and it's so rounded. It's just it. smooth. Yeah. It has a silky mouthfeel yep. to it. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's the right right body. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. So the second beer we grabbed was a Pre's Amber. So I think you had this up there, didn't you? Um, no, I was going to get it. And okay. I decided against it. Again, another. These guys know how to fill their crawlers yeah, too. Yeah, they do. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty beer. That's. Amber. It really is. Straight Check that up. out. Yep. Gorgeous head on it. Off white, light tan. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. 
Yes. <laughs> you can tell who likes malt, right? Yeah. 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 We should get you should get a hop head on here just so they can get straight drinking more. They could be like, oh, yeah, it's, oh, it's kind of sweet. It's mm. nothing but malt. It's cloying. I didn't mean that about this beer. Actually, mm -mm. Yeah. Mm. it is a little sweet though. It has a nice little sweet malt flavor to it. Not cloying. Oh no, that's that's really good. Yeah, just slightly on the bitter side of the balance, but I mean, again, it's clean, it's rounded. Yeah. It's not harsh, no astringency. Nope, nothing. Nope. nope. But it's the right amount of malt. Yeah. I mean, the finish is really pretty even, too. Yep. I think it feels dry, but then it leaves a little sweetness. And then it goes back to fine. Just mill the yeah, rest. I can see where you're saying that. That is delicious. Wow. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah, excellent job downhill. Yeah. Mm. Man, I wish I lived closer. Yeah, no kidding. That's not too far away. No. That's a good excuse to go up there. Wow, I would drink a lot of that quickly. Yeah, no kidding, mm. absolutely. Boy, that's Those really are both good. great. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so we, we actually, the, before we hit downhill, we stopped at uh, Jade Dragon, right? J, um, Jade Mountain. Jade Mountain. Jade Mountain Brew. And, yeah. and that place was a shocker, too. I mean, we'll get more into it next time. Probably, yeah, we've got some beers from them. That, uh, But, yeah, that's got a lot. Yeah, lot not to give food. anything away, but we looked at the menu, and everything had rice in it just about. Mm -hmm. And thought, you know, maybe all the beers would be way light. You know, I don't know. Just, I, I think just the mass, mass brewers gave rice a bad name they for have. me. Yeah. And uh, that wasn't the case at all. Nope. Yeah, when I... Well, yeah, we'll talk about yep. it then. But yeah, I was. It's not what I expected. And they, well, the, the wives are happy too because they didn't they had options other than beer. Yeah. So, yeah. and they were playing an awesome movie. But well, again, oh yeah, getting yeah. Ahead of I'm sorry, we're talking about yeah. <laughs> so anyway, in the episode coming up, we'll talk about Jade Mountain. Yep. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, that's. Um, I was trying to think of anything else for downhill that we had. Yeah, I can't I think, think of anything. I mean, I can check my phone. That's pretty sad. Mm -hmm. Is, does that mean we've had too many beers that we can't really remember what we've had? Well, you know, I think that's right about the time that your wife started driving. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know. Don't drink and drive. Nope. So, yeah, I don't know if I want to look through all this. Uh-oh. It's going to take me a long time to find it. <laughs> we'll, we'll abandon it. But anyway, we'll list some of the other beers we had in here. But everything we had was just solid. Yeah. So, it's, okay. So, yeah, no, I can't remember. Man, I can't believe I can't remember what else I had. Yeah. Um, it was brewery number three on our trip, though. It was. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, in the future, note to self, if you're ever doing a competition, set a pickup spot up at uh, the Brew Hut. Those guys are awesome. They jump right on board to be a drop-off point for our St. Arnold's homebrew competition. And when you drive up there, you know what? Make, set some stops up. Yeah. It's not like there's any, not any breweries around them. I mean, you know, yeah, no you kidding. choose wherever you want to go. Yeah, we had a hard time deciding, quite frankly. Yeah. You know, because I think the Sixth Capital was nearby. We almost went there. But yeah, Jade Mountain was on the way way back. So oh, and then we hit Rock Yard. Yeah, and we had some of their beer and dinner. Yeah, and their beer is their beer was pretty good. Was okay. they didn't, I didn't. I think I've been there too often recently, mm. and their beer menu just doesn't change enough. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, there was the Pilsner was solid, right? Isn't that what you had? Um. Oh, you wanted the Dunkel, but they're out of the Dunkel, which yep. I've had, I just had a couple of weeks ago, and it's it's <clears throat> nice and solid. And I think I had the Pilsner, and the Pilsner was good. I think I had their Amber. Yeah. Maybe, and which was, I don't know, I'm kind of picky about my Ambers. This one is perfect, mm -hmm. and theirs was not perfect. Okay. So, and I think that's just one of those styles that if you don't nail it, then it's kind of... Well, I eh. think... Was it not perfect or was it too hoppy for you? I don't remember. Because I thought it was a little bit on the hoppier side. If it it's was. an American amber, that's it, okay. Which, yeah. yeah. 
which yeah. I, I don't think it was out of style. It just wasn't to my liking. Yeah, because I'm the same way. I, I like uh, I, I like my ambers to be on the malty side. More malty than yeah. Hoppy. Yeah. No, and, and that's and which is exactly where this one is. Yep. Yeah, yeah. This is nicely balanced yeah. and a little bit more. So not to dissuade you from trying rock yards like, amber. Yeah. Right up your alley. Yeah. It was it was good. It was it was flawless. Yeah. So I will say that. Um, yeah. So I got no complaints. Just wasn't. Especially after having a couple beers, I was kind of like, eh, yeah, this isn't, you know. But anyway, yeah. um, I don't know. Yeah, I got nothing else. Let's That's it. I can't say enough good things about these guys. Yeah. Until the next time we grab some of their beer. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll say more good things, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> so, I guess until next time, yeah. cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our website at coloradobrewtalk.com for more great content. While you're there, be sure to leave us a comment or drop us a line with your thoughts. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at CO Brew Talk, or follow the links below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Or episodes. As the case may be. <laughs>